Hello, 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 dorks. Happy Monday. Hello. Thank you. People waiting for me? What the heck is this? <laughs> People showing up at the start? Weird. Hmm. I'm going to be hydrating quite a lot today because it is hot out and it sucks and this apartment sucks for ventilation and stuff. So I have a, I have a ceiling fan on and a little rinky-dink AC going on in the other room and me sitting here sweating. So yay, uh, don't mind me. I'll just be drinking ice water as much as I can. <laughs> um, yeah, so hi. We're here to play Dwarf Fortress, because it's Monday, and that's what we do. Um, oh, and I didn't even do my little my little thing. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm slightly caught off guard today. Um, Frank just walked on the keyboard and whacked it up to 100% volume. Obviously, look, fan. Yes, excellent. <laughs> Frank, hi, Frank. Frank, get him. Attack mode. Um, <laughs> you should be worried if I can start commanding Frank through a stream. That would be bad, wouldn't it? Um, one of the best things about Monday. Oh, thank you. I do. This is, this is my favorite thing about Mondays. I'll say that for sure. Streaming. Hanging out with people. Listening to music. Playing Door Fortress. That's good stuff for me. Um, yeah. So, uh, if you're new here, which you aren't but any vod watchers if you're new here i'm not doing sponsorships and like the minimal amount of advertisements and stuff so today's episode is brought to you by flowers same same sponsor as last time but uh i forgot to change the thing so it, uh, they get a repeat flowers are good flowers are good flowers can stick around um but most importantly by by you uh su subscribing and and following and clicking all the buttons and joining the discord and hanging out there that's what we're doing uh i'm ignoring all the other stuff just we're just hanging out so uh flowers got good deal on that sponsorship i know two for one very good stuff uh so let's come over here to the fortress um, and just to, I'm going to unpause so I can recap what's going on here. Um, MoMA's, yes, yes, all these alerts. We're moving magma. It's a lot of wood, I know, right? We even have more wood down here. I got more wood than I know what to do with. I got too much wood. We have too much wood for the size of the hole that we have here. So, you know... <laughs> But we're getting, uh, we're, we've got, we've, <laughs> we're, we're fine. We're getting there. Um, we're making choirs. We're making more books. We had run out of choirs and I didn't realize it. So we're making more choirs. So I think our, our fancy, uh, scholars are going to start making some more books for us. Um, I was, I was glancing at our fortress a tiny bit between streams here. Um, the main thing, yeah, see, this is the main thing that we're doing is we're trying to move magma up here so we can make some magma forges. So I'm trying to fill a couple small pools with some magma using a minecart. Hey, look, it's a forgotten beast. Ost Eslu Rashan. Enormous quadruped composed of water. It has long, curving horn and undulates rhythmically. But where it's spittle, it's going to die instantly, right? If it's in a if it's in a spot with someone else, which I think it is, I think there is someone else in here. Maybe are they gonna fight? Yeah, they're gonna fight. The other one, yeah, the the one made of water is not gonna win that. <laughs> I don't even care what this is. Um, what what is this? This is a this is a snail. This is a flying snail. The flying snail defeated the water. There you go. Um, we're, we're engraving, we're, we're digging out little nooks for statues, um, we're generally beautifying our fortress, but the, the main project here is the, is the magma stuff. And the thing that we're running into, we were working on, like, it doesn't look like it, but we were working on filling this puddle for the entirety of last stream. And you can see how much progress we made, because it takes so long to do one trip of the minecart, and it only brings so much magma that by the time they make a full loop, the, the magma started to evaporate out of here. 
which isn't very helpful, gotta say. Um, but I did a little bit of thinking about it, and I think I have an idea uh, to try and make that work a little bit better. We do have one magma magma kiln going, and we're we're pumping out some porcelain statues. You can see here, and then we are engraving or not engraving, encrusting the porcelain statues with gems, which is being done here, and then we are putting those engraved statues into all these little nooks that we're digging and engraving. Um, so, uh, yeah, well, we have a handful that are, a handful of spots that are waiting for statues, so I'll, I'll let them, I'll let the engraving continue for a little while before I make another pass at that. But, the thought that I had for this is that if we could get, like, it's, it's a small puddle, but it's slightly too big for filling at this rate, right? So I was wondering what happens if we have a way to make it smaller temporarily. Uh, so what I learned that floodgates, floodgates that are not made from magma safe materials will melt when put in magma, of course, but they only melt when they're open. Which is kind of funny, but I think we can, I think we can use that to our advantage. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make some not magma safe floodgates. I'm going to select the material. And we're going to go... How are we going to do this? I want to leave my, my ramp so that they can get in and out, right? Uh, so rock salt is not magma safe. I'm going to put in three, three rock salt floodgates. I'm even just going to preemptively do this one too. See, look, like even just as we've been sitting here talking, half of the magma in here has evaporated on us. That's no good. Not useful. Uh, what happened? You want breastplates, of course. Of course, uh, I am going to keep doing some steel breastplates because one of my other goals for today is to start training a bunch of dwarves as a strike squad. We can go, we can send squads out to attack things on on the world map, and that's the thing I want to do. So we're going to do it. Um, I'm also going to do some levers here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do lever, 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 and then just lever, lever, lever. This is all temporary. So I'm not going to bother putting it into our uh, our big control room. See here, we just dumped a little bit more magma, and now it's right back where we were. But now they're going to push down, and then boop, now it's going to repeat. So now, while it's doing that, I'm going to come down here to our route, and I'm going to remove this drop station as it's stop, right? So I can't just edit where it is. I have to remove it. Um, so currently it will just stay at the bottom because it doesn't have anywhere to go. I'm going to remove this track stop. We're going to want to dump here, right? Awkward. Awkward, but whatever. So I'm going to stay like this. And then we can just get rid of these. And then we want to link these to here. Now, that's fine. A shale, shale isn't magma proof. Not that it really matters. Well, we'll find out. Uh, so you're getting linked. We're gonna link this one to here. Right, and then link this one to here. And then same thing over here, link to here, link to here, and link to here. Some of those might be magma proof, but then we'll just have stray mechanisms sitting in 
sitting in the, the bottom of our magma pools, and that's that's fine, I guess. <laughs> Not that big a deal. Uh, and then we want to make a track stop that dumps this way, right here. And this can be made of anything. Uh, sure. And then we want to make sure that all these actually get linked before we start dumping magma in there. It's all fine. Still waiting on that one. But, uh, no. Okay. No, don't pause. Why are you paused? They patched the Baldur's Gate wang issues. Oh, did they? Did they fix my wang? <laughs> I was wondering how many people that would be affecting. <laughs> Uh, so still waiting on that one. Why? Why? Oh, because of the diagonal? Did I... They can't do the diagonal one because they've already done the other one. Uh, okay, fine. <laughs> let's just, let's disassemble two of these. That's fine. This is fine. My takeaway feature. I know, right? They should at least give me like a uh, a crotchless version of the of the clothes that they've been giving me, just so I can rock it on purpose. I will not be contained. <laughs> this is so. This is something we were talking about in Discord. I've been playing Baldur's Gate three recently, uh, off stream because because whatever. Um, okay, so these. These should get done now. Blam. Free the tip. <laughs> um. But I built my, I made my Baldur's Gate character with like, you know, one of the femme bodies and, you know, like, junk. And the clothing does not, or did not, I guess take that into account so you just had stuff like clipping through the clothes it was great you would just be standing there in you'd like be talking to an npc in a, in a in a dialogue tree and then every time it cuts back to your character your your waist is like behind all your text options so you'd be like sitting there reading the potential responses that you want to make to this npc and there's just like a wang hiding behind all the words just notice it every once in a while it was pretty great Glad I wasn't streaming. <laughs> I wouldn't have. Don't think I would have gotten away with that. <laughs> I'd like it if it gave you a massive negative in most social interactions, and occasionally a huge buff. Right? Right? I feel like that's how it would actually work. Uh. Okay. So then, these got linked. Those got linked. Okay. So now I want to do again. Uh, machine floodgate here and here. And I'll place that again. Um, and I guess we I want to do the same thing here, so we're going to disassemble those those floors. Um and then we're also gonna go I mean, we're going to dump here for this one, so why don't we just do tracks like <laughs> like this? This whole thing's awkward. Everything here is awkward. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, as long as no one goes in and, you know, gets themselves murdered by level layer one of magma. So then, this needs to link to that one, because these two are already linked, right? Yes. And then this is linked, this one is linked, this one needs to be linked to this one? Yes. That's linked, and that's linked. Okay. Okay. So my plan here 
is we're going to try to do a couple runs where we only have this one tile open because because we can fill that without it evaporating, right? A minecart has two. A minecart can fill one tile to depth two, and a depth two pool is not at risk of evaporating. So says my prior knowledge of everything about this game. Only depth one will evaporate. So, okay, so we need to go back into our route menu, and I'm going to add a stop. It's going to be right there. This is uh, Dunham Station 3. And then this will get a departure condition of Guide South. Guide South always. Because then that'll take, tell them to take it from here to here, and then from here they get a push. I believe someone should already be on the way, right? Right, is it... Not down here, is someone pushing it? Is someone working on it? Come down to here, it's a tool, iron minecart. And we're saving, hooray! Looks like someone's pushing it up. So if we let them do a single tile twice, then that'll bring it up to four, and then we can open a floodgate, and then both those will be down to two, which is still safe. And then we could do another run Brings those both up to three, open another one, then they all come back down to two, and then yeah, we can we can do it like that. That should be fine. That should be fine, right? And then those those floodgates will melt, and then it will be as if nothing else happened. Oh, what happened here? Why are you there? Did something change on me? And of course, you're hauling it instead of pushing it. Okay. That's fine. And the minecart itself... Where is it? It's invisible, so it has stuff in it, right? Oh no, you're going down. Place track vehicle. What on earth? Okay, well, our mayor is going to spend a month carrying a minecart along the tracks. Whatever. We'll have to make sure that stuff has actually worked in there. I don't know why that derailed. But in the meantime, decorated statues. Look, this is a... where to go? This is a exceptionally decorated statue of a dwarf. Encircled with bands of exceptionally worked tapered baguette cut rubicels. Adorned with hanging rings of well crafted rose quartz and menaces with spikes of carnelian and green tourmaline. Indigo tourmaline. Cool. So now baguette, yeah. Um it's one of the, the one of the cuts of gems is called a baguette cut. Uh and that's I don't know why it's called that. That's what it's called. It's a real thing. It probably looks like a baguette. Uh, and then now... We're gonna do our statues. Uh, so we have all these little nooks that we're carving out, and they're slowly being engraved. So as, But you can't, like... See, we have a handful placed here. But you can't engrave underneath a placed statue or behind it or anything. So we're... We're engraving... And then placing. Or designating to be placed, at least. No statue, and then I'm going to use the planner, and then the filter is decorated, yes, and it's going to be of porcelain, so it's it's remembered my previous settings here. That's convenient. Um, I might 
we'll off on these. We'll put some nice ones in here. These are these ones are made of platinum. The rest of them we're making out of porcelain. Um, but everywhere else, like all these, these I just want statues and all these nooks. All these nooks. Got a couple in here. On uh, this way, I think there's less down here, though obviously a handful. <laughs> Just a couple done here. Um, and then down there, there's nothing. Our engravers will have will be busy for a little while. Just as I like it. Here we go. And then yeah, we could do like there. It's hard to tell which ones of these are actually done sometimes. I actually have to smooth it <laughs> smooth that one tile. This is just literally all stockpile. Uh, here we go. Okay. We'll have to find some more places to put them. That's not that's not too many. But yeah, um, the bookkeeper is fighting. Ugh. Did we just? Did we just? Are you okay? We just hit a minecart. We just hit a bookkeeper with a minecart. Attend meeting. <laughs> uh, why were you in here? No one should be in here. I, I forbid all the things that are in here. Are you a are you a miner? You must be a miner. There's not even there's no need for you to be in here. I didn't tell anyone to mine anything in there. Um, I might. So let's go into our traffic restriction -y things. I'm going to say this is all, you know, restricted traffic area. I don't know if that's going to actually help anyone not get hit by minecarts. this thing's all freaking huge. Does that work? Okay, that does work. Right, let's just keep keep out. This is not dwarf space. Unless you are pushing a minecart uphill, you do not belong in here. Or this won't keep them out of here entirely. This just like affects their it affects the weight of the weighting of their pathfinding. So like routing through these tiles costs more from a pathfinding perspective. But if they have a job that takes them in here specifically, then they'll still do that. So hopefully no one gets some fancy ideas. I don't know why someone was in here. are also our beast ways. We also occasionally ferry <laughs> forgotten beasts through here. Uh, this is all... that's all fine. And then that's all already... Cool, 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 cool. Like that, like that, and then like that. There. No one do stupid things. And see, all this, it's all gone already. Alright. So now where is our minecart? Is it down here? Not even. Following menu says... 
it's upstairs. I'm full. I disbelieve. It is full. But why is it here? Who just left it here? <laughs> hey, look, the dwarves are here to trade. Confused. Well, it made it down just fine, right? Because cl clearly it nearly murdered someone on the way. These liquid container. Oh, that's the other thing I did. Um, so we have been not making honey for a little while. Mostly because it is a huge drain on jugs. Um, in theory, someone's coming down here. <laughs> Diagnosed patient. Yeah, they got hit by a minecart. Save you a save you some some inquiries there. Okay, so now you are gonna go grab it. You turn honey into mead? Yes. We can turn honey into mead. And we were early in this fortress. Um, I even still have a mead job in our in our thing. But it's been inactive because uh, for a short second here, we ran out of rock. And we had used all of just the normal rocks that we had mined out out of the ground. And that was what I was using to make jugs out of. So we we weren't able to make more jugs, which means we weren't able to harvest more honey and make more mead. Um, funny how dwarves become dwarves because Tolkien didn't like dwarves. Run out of rocks? I know, right? Oh yeah, the the spelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dwarves and dwarves versus dwarves. Yeah, I agree. Um. Another, another forgotten beast. Iden Tatlosh Xanor, enormous feathered spider. Oh God, broad horn, gaunt appearance, black feathers, poisonous bite. Okay, where are you? This is the bottom of cave three. Are you gonna go fight our stuck one? Cause we have another one like right there. You're just gonna go into the water. Okay. Enjoy. Oh, do you want to come in through this way? But you can't. There's fortifications here. Hopefully you can't. Even if you could get in, I don't think you can. I don't think you can cause too much harm over there. Oh, are you coming? Do you want to fight? You coming to fight? In the water. <laughs> Can you not get over there? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna not ask the doors for wood this time. I am asking them for fuel stones, though. Uh, if we go to... Store. On that and some other stuff probably, but also he was an old dude from ages ago and a devout Catholic. And he's glad he's not on Twitter. I, yeah, it's fair. Um, I mean, the guy had good taste. I can't really fault him for, for a lot of that stuff. Uh, we are looking for Lignite and Bitumous Coal. That's what I want from the dwarves. That's all I care about right now. Quivers and drinks. Okay. Forgotten Beast is lost, I guess. So there's something about... This one is stuck here between these trees. It should be able to climb. Like It, it climbed down here. Because it spawned at the top. And then came down here. And has been there since then. So. That's neat. Uh, let's request our broker and move some stuff. Are your tomatoes... We've eaten most of our tomatoes. 
We have two tomato plants. One has made a whole mess of tomatoes and we ate them. And the other one hasn't started making tomatoes yet. So we're like, we're between tomatoes. Um, oh, but the honey, the thing about the honey, when you, when you have a, 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 when you have a hive and you're harvesting the honey out of the hive, you get a honeycomb and then you can press the honeycomb into honey, you can make the honey into mead, that all makes sense. But that harvest job also creates royal jelly. And the royal jelly also needs to go into a jug. Like the, you can, you can get the, the honeycomb out of the hive just fine, because it's just like a dry item, and then you when you press it, the honey that comes out of it needs to go into a jug. But when you harvest the honeycomb, royal jelly needs to go into a jug. And royal jelly can be used for cooking, but apparently cooks are not very good about actually using liquid ingredients on a regular basis. Um, and then that combined with the fact that jugs get stored in a finished goods stockpile and not a food stockpile which I learned today um, so we have this uh, we have this gigantic finished goods uh, stockpile apparently one of the things that's being stored in there is crates full of jugs full of royal honey or uh, yeah royal royal jelly that aren't that just doesn't get used they're just sitting there in jugs and then that's what that's why we're not being able to harvest new honey because all our jugs are filled with royal jelly that's not getting used so <laughs> it's just all still it's just all sitting there uh so my thought was what if we trade it and it's all stored here in tools i just do jug uh, did this, did that help me? I mean, these are the finished goods bins. Hi. I was like, what the F are you talking about? I asked about tomatoes, then I realized I'd seen you type tomatoes. And in my head heard it as Tom Artos. Hilarious. You're still learning about this game, there's no hope for the rest of us. I, I mean, you can get this far without knowing everything, is, is my point. You don't need to know everything. You sell royal, royal jelly to the dwar elders, but I'm going to try to sell it to the dwarves here. Um, because in theory... I mean, how we... Mm, I want to see which bins have the royal jelly. So come down to tools. This is our, our mine carts and our wheelbarrows. Step ladders and choirs. Okay. So well, clearly it's not gonna be in there. Uh, but then we go to bins. Can I search for no? Hmm. Which of these is it gonna be in? Oh, number seven. I should. Yeah, okay. How about this? How about this? So we have two finished goods stockpiles. This is number 18. This is number seven. Number seven is the one with everything in it. So that's not that helpful. Maybe a little helpful. Now, I know it's hot. I can't fix it. But like there should be there should be crates full of jugs in here. Yeah, there's a jug. But it's in Does it even have anything in it? I can't even tell. Hmm. There's not really a good way to sort pools. See there's hum some honeycomb. There's see these. Okay, so these jugs probably have royal jelly in them. That's like a handful. Yeah, okay, there's a there's a couple in there. So let's do let's do this. And <laughs> all of our figurines. Yes, yes. 
That's fine. And this is all just finished goods. Why? And there's choirs in here. Why are there choirs in this stockpile? There should not be choirs in this stockpile at all. At all. Now. And <laughs> all these figurines. Our, our uh, mayor keeps forbidding the export of figurines, so now we just have a whole buttload of figurines. Now let's just, let's do this. We'll, we'll overtrade to kind of get rid of some of our stuff. Uh, and broker requested. It's annoying, can you sell the royal jelly? Oh yeah, uh, why? Um... <laughs> Why, why what? I feel like I have... Like I said, a lot of confusing things right in a row there. Um, the mayor. Oh, the mayor. Um, so, people who can make demands. Um, functionally, mayor is the only uh, thing that can ban things right now. Uh, but like if you have a baron or a countess or whatever, they can do the same thing. But anyone who can make demands like that, anyone who can demand that you not export something, they will tell you not to export things that they like. So our mayor just likes figurines. Let's see if we can find him. Where's our mayor? Where's our mayor? I forget what his name is. Kind of cute, I know, right? Um, it's it's cute and it's neat. It also means you end up with gigantic piles of something. Here we are, MoMA's uh, personality preferences: likes orthoclase, gold, alexandrite, jute paper, the color chocolate, breastplates, figurines, and the sight of the couple of satin. Um, so we keep getting. He keeps asking us to make breastplates and make figurines. That's because he likes breastplates and figurines. So someone else who, you know, if you have a king who likes rings, they will say, don't export the rings every once in a while. Um, you brought a bunch of wood. Hooray. And instruments. That's what I asked for. Yep. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, so I'm going to sell most of these things. just want to keep an eye out for the things that I don't want to sell that sneak in here, like water skins and wires. No, that. You just need to find a baron at another fortress that relags royal honey. Mmm. But then they won't use it. They'll just demand that I stockpile it. I'd still have a pile of, pile of it. Uh, and that, like an instrument. I won't get rid of the instrument. The worn clothing can go. Well, fine. Uh, that can go. Oh, like three water skins just right here. Not if you sell to his fortress. You can't sell to a specific fortress. I think you just, you just trade with the caravan and then the caravan goes and does caravan things. Um, back in the day, so this is before, like, this predates even me uh, and my, my Dwarf Fortress experience. This game used to have a proper economy, like money, and your, your fortress would have, like, a dollar value to its exports. And, and, and all the sites would have their own economies and they would interact with each other in, in economic ways like that. Um, and that got turned off like a long, long time ago because as this game grew, it just became too ridiculous. Like that's, that one hasn't been worn at all. We're not selling that one. Uh, but we're, we're kind of expecting that to come back someday. Someday. There's no actual explicit plans for it to come back yet, but it's a thing. All these figurines, holy cow. And then here we go. So I'm going to keep the honeycomb, but we'll get rid of the jug. Jug, jug, jug. 
honeycomb, honeycomb. Honeycomb, honeycomb. Because I can press these honeycombs to get honey out of them. Uh, keep the toy axe. And the choir. And the choir. <laughs> and the choir. Okay. We need to make... I wonder if we can make a stockpile for the choirs. Because, or just say that they all go in the library. They should be all going in the library. There you go. Okay. So now we have 11k to buy instruments with. Just buy one of each. Why not? Why not? 10k. Platinum Bakbon. Wow. Neat. It's decorated even. Uh, what a choir is. Yeah, this game taught me what choirs are. Did not know beforehand. Uh, oh, we want to keep that number green. Which one? There we go. Okay, so let's let's do that. Ecstatic with the trading, I bet. And then no trader requested, and now we're all good. The other thing that I'm going to do before I forget about it. Hello, hello! Bear on a bus. <laughs> on the bus. Hi. Um, I am increasing our population cap in the most immediate sense. Uh, I was looking at all of our bedrooms. We have... Uh, we have a good handful of open bedrooms. Uh, where... I have to remember where it is. Here we go. Population cap. Well, we were... we This fortress was at 50 for a very long time, and then I recently doubled it to 100. And I want to fill out the rest of our bedroom, so I'm going to go up to 120. And we'll see where that puts us. Um, because I want to start putting dwarves into little squads. Uh, and have them go out onto the world map and attack goblins. Let's see here. What's what are what's the hold up here? It should be higher priority so that it actually gets done. And then here we are trying to fill pits with magma. <laughs> and it's it's uh, not great. Now where are we now? Iron Minecart is being pushed. You're going up. No, you're going down. You're taking this down. It's been... Why is it derailing now? Hey, look, some migrants. That didn't take long. Wow. This thing wasn't derailing last stream. Who are you? Us Tuth. Hard work is the sign of a, is the true sign of character. Dumat. Armorer. Ooh, you are a novice armorsmith. Hooray. Song just makes me think of the history of the USSR video. <laughs> there's a there's a Tetris video. What's the rush? Uh we I still need to watch that Tetris movie. You should always tell the truth. Novice surgeon. Be happy. You, be happy. Be happy. I'm all right. Hi, Master Thresher. And then a yak. Risen? Re, I never know how to pronounce the carrot thing. And then a horse. Cool. I look forward to slaughtering your horse. I put us to 110. That's not bad. Uh, so let's put those in the pen. That, 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 and that. Wow. I worked so hard in arranging the blocks, but the landlord and tax man bleed me dry. It's true. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, we're growing a bunch of dimple cups so we can dye all of our cloth. Keeping beasts. Okay. Um, and then with our with our mine car, I'm gonna say I'm gonna come into this and remove our departure condition so that I can watch it the next time it gets pushed. It's clearly something not working. Um, we're making statues. See, look, we even have fresh statues here. We're uh, ready to be encrusted. Uh, so we're just going to encrust on repeat and encrust on repeat. Um, but also in theory, I made, I came into our rock jug job. Empty rock jugs less than 10. Maybe let's just... Let's just do that. We'll have a, we'll have a handful of jugs. And then hopefully that turns our, our honey production back on. Because these are all... Oh, did we not even... Gather... Yeah, not even using all of them. Most of them, though. Like, should be gathering from these three columns and then not from the first column. Yeah, okay. Would you like a stack of 13,000 honeybees? All right. And then forgotten bees for fighting crundles. Have at it. On the choirs. Let's make sure that the choirs are ending up in the library. So there should be a whole bunch of them, right? There's room for more. I probably just need to come into the library settings and say, I want you to have all of them. All of them go here. Oh, and we have Iton assigned as a chemist, but we have someone else here. Where's Bathru? Yeah. You, you can be scholar. You can be assigned as a scholar. This uh, this human came to our fortress specifically to be a scholar. So we'll just assign him to be a, uh, a scholar. Oh yeah, and our, <laughs> uh, our, our pile of dyed hair thread. <laughs> He's my favorite guy. He's pretty cool. Uh, Bathroom Omen Bowels. It's a very good name. Now... Why he survived the incident? He survived several incidents at this point. And our library is empty. We do have a grumpy person again. Is that Kib? Yeah, you... Are you still down here? It says you're, you're healthy. Did you even get treated? You have a crutch now. Are you one of our miners? Maybe you shouldn't be a miner now. Uh, labor. Yeah, and you're a legendary miner. Okay. Uh, well, we have a novice there. Let's say stonecutter. Let's train you up as a miner as well. Give give uh Kib. Let's give Kib the day off. Now, has our has our minecart arrived? Where are we on? Here. Oh, most of this got done. Um. Okay. Wants to be at this stop, but is not currently here. We're maybe bringing it, or it may be stranded. I think there is still someone trying to bring it here. Crust, make statues, make jug. Very good. Place track vehicle. And again, you're carrying it up the stairwell. Why? 
Why, why, why? At least you're coming up the stairs and not... Um... There are not enough cages and chains. It's frustrating. Really? Because you're our... You're our captain of the guard. I only have enough cages and chains for six people in this fortress with no crime. Like, no crime. But we need to have 11 cages. Whatever. You're not you're not getting more cages. It's fine. Um and then and then what? And then I want to make some more squats. I want to start I want to start training more people. Does this does the minecart have stuff in it right now or is it empty right now it, is, it currently has stuff in it so why is it derailing They're not derailing if it's at the bottom if it's down here and someone has a job to bring it up why aren't they pushing it like normal they were doing that <laughs> last stream it was fine Magma Station, guide east immediately always, yeah. So it's going from here and then going up. Is it... Did I break something in here? It wouldn't make sense. Well, no one's pushing it on the tracks right now. So I can kind of change things without too much worry. Our other bookbinder, Kulet, has withdrawn from society. Um, let's do like this, maybe. And then maybe smooth. And then this has like... I... Can I do that? Let's just do this. He just gone hermit. <laughs> he's he's entering a strange mood. He's gonna go make an artifact. Yeah. Uh, there's there's different kinds of strange moods, and they have different they have different uh, things. <laughs> they say different things when they happen. Uh, so like as opposed to being possessed, is put he's in a secretive mood. There's, there's like, there's being possessed, there's fey moods, there's secretive moods, there's macabre moods. There's there's a good handful of different kinds of moods. And they work slightly different from each other. Um, but secretive, this is a this is a good one. This means that this dwarf was happy, right? Momas just got re-elected. Um, but you're an accomplished bookbinder. Novice stonecutter. You're probably going to be using a stonecutter skill here. Cool. Okay, I'll I'll leave you to it. Okay. And also do also do this. And then you grave like this, and then like this, and I'm just gonna do like that. I'm not gonna make a loop or anything. Oh, that's good. I thought it meant it was just like f this. I'm out. <laughs> there's a um. There's an option. Either an option or a mod, and now I can't remember. But there is something that you can you can allow dwarves who are grumpy enough to emigrate on like on their own will. How is this? What happened here? I, oh, because this is probably what happened. I'm gonna deconstruct this bridge. Maybe that's what happened. I mean, there, there's tracks. Yeah, there are tracks under here. I don't know if I can connect them. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Cool. So now, at the very least, that is just hanging around, and these aren't melting, as, as the wiki foretold. Yeah, okay, so now let's just do back like this. And I mean, this this gate is here so that we can seal it if we want to use it for transporting beasts. But maybe we'll maybe that's making it act weird. So we'll just we'll just leave it open for now. And we'll close it permanently when we're done. This is a this is a one time project. It's not going to be something that we have to do forever. Because the magma don't get used or anything. Okay, so now let's do guide. It's South. Oh, come on. <laughs> Guide south immediately, always. So now someone's going to push it down to here, and then someone's going to push it down the hill, and then we're going to watch. Hi, cat. How are you? Uh, and then we'll watch this and make sure it gets down there just fine. Wee! Wee! Hopefully we don't murder a dwarf this time! Maybe it derailed because it hit someone last time? That could happen. And we're still getting... I mean, we're at 40 frames a second. We turned on multi-threading uh, last time. <laughs> Lovely cat, thank you. <laughs> As you see, the best view of her. She's very vocal, but she doesn't ever say anything to the microphone. Do you want to voice your concern here? No? Okay. There we go! Coolet Bookbinder has created Vodkulal, a mica ring. Cool. She's very fluffy. She has a little... she has a cat cam spot. Let's see if she'll... she might not settle over there. There we go. Okay, so that worked. That was what it was supposed to do. So now we have a minecart full of magma. There we go. Is she going to settle? Might settle. She can She can be fickle. Sometimes she'll settle here, sometimes not. There she goes. She is very fluffy. Yes, join Discord. Oh, that's not what I wanted. It. Sure. <laughs> so, yeah, that's not gonna work. Yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> if she lays down, she's kind of in view. I don't have a I don't have a really good camera setup to get her when she's like sitting upright. Okay. Now. And to that. Now you should be, and you're pushing it up the tracks. Very good. But whatever broke, I think we fixed it. I think we're good. This is now going to go up. See, they can push it over the... It should be fine. I don't know. Oh, and then I, I broke it. Yes. Of course. No. There we go. There we go, got it. Okay, so it's going. <laughs> Let's assume that that's working for now. The other thing I want to work on, I mean, how's our waterfalls? Waterfalls are fine for now. Um, and we should be, yeah, we're pressing, we're pressing honey. We should be making we should be making mead and brewing drinks. We're making our bayberry wine, very good. We it's 800. It's not like we're not exactly running out of booze, but we were at like I, th I was keeping us steady at a thousand for a little while. This is the third forgotten beast in an hour. <laughs> uh, a gigantic blob composed of snow. Again, this is going to get annihilated by something very quickly. Yes, you. Same one that got the water one. It's just gonna come over and smack this. Plop. Well. 
What the hell is happening? We are we are beast central here. Uh, Thiliri. Oh my god, what the hell? Thiliri, Rufi, Rufi, Thili, Quila, Ramian, Aog, Aretho. A towering feathered stegosaurid. Neat. Four stubby horns, squirms, and fidgets. Feathers are downy, but where it's poisonous bite. Where are you? You are down here. You are also gonna fight. But you are fighting. Playful froths. A skinless Dimetrodon. It's a dinosaur fight! We have a dinosaur fight! <laughs> oh, that was quick. I think the new one won, right? Yeah, the new one. Did you gain another name? Neat. Okay. Okay. Everything's fine. This is fine. Um, now that we've gotten a handful of dwarves, by a handful I mean a bunch. I always, I do like, I like Bathru. I like, I like our scholar because I can always pick him out of a crowd. He's like the one human in this fortress. So I was like, oh, the white hair. Yeah, there he is. You have clothes, right? I guess I haven't been making clothes that are sized for... for, for big dudes. Uh, you have large... Yeah, should I make like a... I should make a handful of things, but you're... You're fine, clearly. We have plenty of cloth, though. Um, here's all our dimple dye. Excellent. Oh, man. A whole bunch of dimple dye. We're dyeing all of our cloth. All of our forgotten beast silk cloth. Squads. Squad, squad, squads. That's what I want to focus on for a minute. Um, so what I'm going to do... I have to make more beds, apparently. Currently, we have three squads. We have a five-person axe dwarf slash spear dwarf squad. We have a five-person crossbow squad. And we have a five-person hammer dwarf squad. And the hammer dwarves are kind of the new one. Um, the other two squads have been keeping us safe for the entirety of this fortress. We have become quite efficient at handling goblins. They are not a big deal for us at this point, at least when they come here. Um, need to make more beds. Make more beds. Bed. We'll just make more, we'll do 10 more beds. That should be perfect. Um, so we have, we have five people in a, sleeping without a proper room. This is a proper room. This is your barracks. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Um... What was I just gonna say? Oh, we're so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna keep our 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 bladed weapon squad and our crossbow squad. Those are our home squads. They're gonna stay here. They're defending the fortress. They're like we have like legendary axe dwarves and and legendary marks dwarves. They're staying here. And they're gonna keep us safe. But these other squads or this our hammer dwarf squad and then this new squad that I'm about to make. Are going to go abroad and attack the goblins on the world map for us. And let's do a cabinet and a chest. And it's going to take us a minute, like, we, we're going to need to finish our magma forges before we can finish hitting them all out with, like, good steel stuff. Um, but we can get them started to started training, at the very least. I always do a save before sending raids out just in case. Fair. Um, if I'm playing offline, that's probably how I do it. But live streaming, we're just going for it. We're sending them out into the world, and if they eat shit, at the goblins, then then that's what happens. <laughs> we're we're going for it. We I've killed so many 
I, I mean, I killed a legendary miner just the other stream because I wasn't paying attention to the level I was mining on and they mined into the magma and just fried. We've been hitting dwarves with mine carts. Like, we're, we're just rolling with it here. I uh, recently had one where I sent my full squad of steel-clad legendary fighters off on an easy mission and 9 of 10 of them just never came back for no reason. Yup. Well, the reason is probably that there was like a forgotten beast somewhere between between there and there and I, I don't know anything could happen right a bad dwarf mom you take that back look how happy they are look at that happiness chart and tell me i'm a bad dwarf mom <laughs> uh anyway so step one our hammer dwarf squad the inky tightnesses <laughs> is gonna get uh fleshed out a little bit. Why are you... You're just not wearing anything, are you? Short, happy lives, yeah. Most of them have stuck around for quite a bit. Uh, do we have anyone with any experience? Novice wrestler, fish cleaner. You. You go in the squad now. That sounds like a soldier to me. And everyone else is just not good at it. Okay, that's fine. Recruits. Um, milker, sure. Uh, pressure. Mainly just gonna be like the newest people. Wood burner. Wax worker, sure. Soap maker, book binder. We have, we have good book binders. Fish dissector, yeah, whatever. So, they already have a uniform set up, but I think I had to I had to alter the default, didn't I? Yeah. Um, because like they have, yeah, they have all their stuff, and I'm gonna make this all a hammer squad. Uh, so we're gonna do war hammers. And the default one that I have set up is got leather armor, so we're gonna add a breastplate. And they already have a male shirt. The rest of this is fine, I believe. Confirm. Uh, breastplate and Warhammer. Confirm. The confirm button is the thing that I always get wrong. <laughs> Press plate. Warhammer. Um, and I'm not specifying material on basically any of this stuff yet because I know that I do not have the materials of things that I want them to have, ultimately. Uh, so they're all going to go grab, like, copper breastplates that we looted from the goblins uh, to train on. And then as we as we finish their stuff, then then they'll get they'll get it figured out. Okay, so that's a there's a ten person hammer door squad, and they're just gonna sit on that our previously made schedule and stuff. They should be training in there and stuff. And hydrate today. Today is a good hydrate day for sure. It is... Is it broken 90 yet? It is... My phone says 90. Checked this morning, it was like, a high of 87. And then get in the car and the radio's like, so it's gonna be a high of 93. Yay, hooray. Okay, so this is going to be a barracks. And we're gonna need to make a new squad. Create new squad. And our captain of the guard does not have a squad and I think it's gonna stay that way. And then, yeah, melee basic. The rare ceilings. Oh, that's cool. Our civilization is called the dipped ceiling. 
So here's the rare ceilings. Um, and their leader is gonna be some random person that I pick out of a hat. I'm gonna send them off to their deaths, and I will never have known who they were. Builder, lie maker, potash maker. Some real, some real low value skills in here. Um. Presser, yeah, whatever. We are doing pressing. I mean, that's how you get the honey out of the the honeycomb. Yeah, she she settle when she settles there. It looks it looks good. Uh, Gelder, anyone can geld. You don't you don't need all that much skill to <laughs> hack off some bits. <laughs> Ranger. I mean, Ranger's good, right? You're not going to be doing ranged things, but that's that's a thing. Um, dyers we're using. Dyers can stay. Gilder. Mm. Soap maker? Yeah, whatever. Shearer? We are... We do shearing every once in a while. We have so much to go through, though. Like, <laughs> it's not a high-priority skill. Uh, lie maker? Why not? Planter? Hunter? Why not? Okay. So. New squad. We go into our barracks. We say that this squad sleeps and stores their junk here. And they train with everyone else. Except for the, the range squad, it trains in the archery range, of course. And then... We need to go into their equipment and do the same thing. We'll say a, a breastplate. And do we want to give them hammers as well? Or do, we, or do they get axes? I think we're gonna do some axes in here. Maybe this one will be like five axes and five spears. Because hammers are generally better against armored targets, and we're like these are gonna be specifically for fighting goblins. Uh, but edged weapons are good for like finishing them off and fighting trolls and such, or if they have mounts. Uh, let's do a breastplate and a X. Breastplate and X. And a breastplate and an X. Uh, not that. I, I did get rid of your. Yeah, okay. Then you are axe number five. Arm. And the rest of you are going to get spears. Because why not? Spears. Because we have some spear masters who can teach you some things. Make use of that knowledge. Okay. There's your equipment. And then your schedule. I'm just going to copy off this other squad. Copy. Paste. Because I think they're just... They're just training. Right? At least three training at all times. That's been successful for our other squad, so we'll we'll keep doing the same thing. 
and then hopefully they'll get themselves organized they'll grab some weapons at least we definitely have we have some axes and some spears they're not gonna be like the best maybe but we have some and look we're already all of our decorated statues perfect uh oh oh and see we've already overfilled i didn't kill anyone did i i didn't kill anyone did i why are you why was a masterwork lost here did someone run around on fire i probably just murdered someone didn't i did we we were at 110 weren't we see see okay so then let's let's make sure to pull one of these let's pull this one uh all this smoke means i killed someone pretty sure yeah there's there's magma on the ground here i got distracted with my squads I just killed someone, pretty sure. Turns out magma's dangerous. In case you weren't aware. Oh yeah, we, uh, we... <laughs> oh man. We got an artifact and then I forgot to place it before the thing went away. Uh, it was a ring, right? Was it a mica ring? have a mica ring that sounds right yeah okay perfect so let's place that ring in our in our vault okay. <laughs> uh, go to rings look for mica it's that one thank you Okay, cool. So, this opened, and now this floodgate melts. There we go. And now that's fine. That also won't evaporate. Now, we need to wait for this tile's magma to evaporate before someone can get the minecart to move. <laughs> Yay. Goblin crossbowman is fighting. I knew there was a goblin in here, but what were you fighting? There was nothing for you to be fighting. The spinning bauxite. I've been injured badly. This leaves me so shaken. The spinning bauxite. What? All of these. Isn't this... No, those are all older ones. What is happening? Okay. Uh, okay. So I'm going to run to the bathroom and grab some more water and I will be right back and we'll, we'll let this go. I think we're, we're good for the second.
I have returned. Oh look! Just in time! The goblins have arrived! Excellent, excellent. Okay. So that means everyone needs to get... Uh, that's not the button I meant to press. Everyone needs to get inside. Civilian alert time. Uh, and then we put our ranged squad to patrol our wall. Because we got a we got a nice parapet going here. And then our good melee squad is going to station up here. Uh, they waited till you were away. Yep. <laughs> they tried. Um, and then, uh, I mean, how many do you think are going to show up? Do we want to do one of our fancy traps? Or we just want to deal with them? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Okay. Let's... Let's take... Let's, let's treat this one seriously, I guess. Um, we can close our, our garbage chute as well. And then... I want them to come in. This is going to close. This is open. That's open. And that's closed. And that's closed and that's closed. Okay, perfect. I'm going to turn on our funny minecart trap. And we'll see what happens. They brought, they brought a handful this time. This is one of the bigger goblin sieges we've seen. This is a real siege, not just six... Not just six dorks. Even still, I am not worried. We've, we're spotting all the thieves. The thieves don't get inside. They never get inside, do they? Okay. So now. The, the goblin blender. Who can make it through? This, this needs, like, game show music. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm not allowed to lock that one, uh, but I can raise this bridge. Now that the now that all the uh, once all the minecarts get knocked loose like that, then it won't continue to do stuff, right? So uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna close it off, and then we're gonna say everyone else comes through the weapon traps. How about that? Or we could route some through the menagerie. Also a thing we can do. But they're going to come through and they're going to end up right in the courtyard. Yeah, see, they're that closed. So they're going to come up here. And then our melee doors are just right there. Waiting. And we ex effectively split them in half. There we go. And here they come. They're just going to trickle on in. We're gonna smack them one at a time. Very cool. Yeah, go back and go back and station. You okay? Healthy, healthy. Okay. Are they? And they're all trying to run already. <laughs> Siege broken. Okay. Kill. The remainders. Anyone else down here? You're you're all clear. Uh, this is safe. I want to be careful about sending uh, dwarves down there because it can kill dwarves. It has killed dwarves. There we go. Kill goblins. Go run after them. Go chase. Get him. Get him. I guess edged weapons are not bad against goblins, that's for sure. Really, the trick is to be very good at your weapon. Cool. So that's... That's the siege. <laughs> that's it. That's the siege. Uh, there's literally a thief here, and you're just... You're trying to leave, or are you? Do you want to? Do you want a, a smack? You want to get smacked? Let's open our garbage chute. You know you can't just walk through the wall, right? Whatever. Okay. 
Clear civilian alert. Claim the garbage. Um, we want to make sure to turn this off before they try to go in there to clean. Because they'll start just placing the minecarts back where they go and reactivating the trap. And that's less good. Wait for that to stop turning. There we go. So now it's now it's unpowered. So now everyone can come in and clean up the trap and open this back up. And then we're good. In theory, goblin corpses are going to go into here and then get placed into this minecart. Along with all the other goblin corpses here. Um, so of course, in practice, they do like to bring them down to the kitchen stockpile for whatever reason. Maybe I should say that the kitchen one doesn't accept goblins. That help? Would that help? Goblins. Just because I want them to take the shorter trip. Oh, now where are you? What was that? Where are you going? Why are you in here? This is not... It's not a place for people to be. Why are you all in here? This is already, like, restricted, right? Why are you all... No job, no job, drink. You were all... You all ran in here like you were scared of something. Everything's caged. There's that still down in our pit. Some crundles. Oh, how are you in here? Uh, you can stop patrolling, but you need to go kill that thief. Whoop, there we go. <laughs> Just get yourself trapped, that's fine. That's how the other one le ended up in there. Well, now you don't need to bother killing him. Luckily, luckily dwarves don't trigger these pressure plates. Okay. Now, are you successfully filling this minecart? You're still... Thank you. What are you... What are you all doing? trash goes here. And why is there a bin in here again? I swear. Well, yeah, see they're they're putting their they're bringing the goblins all the way down to the kitchen and using this trash. Uh hey, look, all the honeybee remains hilarious. Withered dimple cups. Oh, did we not Successfully harvest all of our dimple cups? That's fine. We have so many. Uh, let's check on our magma situation. I'm still, still waiting on that one tile to dry out. Whatever. Living with my mistakes. Um, Stukos. Okay, so that must be who we uh, incinerated. So let's let's engrave a slab. Uh, Stukos mousing gig. Ooh. Let's try not to get too many ghosts this time. We have some more statues to place. Or places to put statues, I guess I should say.
all good. One in here. Why not? One up here. Someone's coming to do that now, of course. Uh, some of these getting done. There's like none here. Really packed them in here, didn't I? Oh, it's all good for now. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. They never evaporate quickly when you want them to evaporate, but they evaporate instantly when you want them to stay. That's how that works. Uh, look, a make mead. Make mead has started working again. So that's good. We are we are slowly going through our drink. We maybe we should we start actually farming crops for brewing? For the first time in this fortress? Growing food crops on purpose? Um because what do we what do we got up here? We we've been growing just a whole mess of dimple dye or dimple cups for dimple dye. You know what? We could even We'll just we'll not do the last one. Let's just do that. Because then there's road above, that's all fine. Have we have we done enough dimple cups? Are we <laughs> are we good? Oh my gosh. Shh. Look at our dimple cups. Look at our dimple cups! Oh my gosh. Okay, so maybe we're fine on dimple cups for a bit. Um, and then we can say... I don't think this one currently allows dimple cups because I wanted them all over there, but we'll do this and then we'll say it gives... two dimple cups. Um, so that we have a whole bunch of dimple cups, and we also have where... where? We also have a bunch of dimple dye. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So we also have a whole bunch of dyed things. Oh my gosh. Um, we... We're still working through our giant stockpile of wool. Um, but where's our... yeah, our dyer... their dyers are still dying. Um, I'm going to add a handful of clother jobs, too. Why not? Let's do... Um, yarn. So we've been doing cloaks or coats. I've been doing rope. I've been doing robes and... Tunics. Or vests. I've been doing vests. There's so many different kinds of things. Let's do... Cloak. Yarn shirt. Yarn. Vest. Uh, what was the other one? Nick. Yarn trousers, yarn gloves, yarn cap, yarn hood, and then maybe the 
that's that's pretty good. And then we can do some of the silk ones too. Some silk vests. Bought some silk socks. Um, silk gloves. Silk caps. Cool. That will keep someone busy. And I should also, like, I'm going to specifically make some human-sized stuff. Let's do uh, silk robes. And we'll size, specify size for human. Um, and then some silk trousers. Oh man. Uh, maybe some some shoes? I guess I should do just shoes in general, right? And then also some yarn shoes. Shoes for bathroom. Okay. There's some clothing jobs. <laughs> There's still garbage up here. Cause, why not? Why this can take this can take all the corpses. Hmm. And because there's corpses here. Why is no one up here? Uh, forgotten beasts are fighting. A bunch of them. Corpses. What did I miss? Oh, th these are just the goblin corpses. From the Goblin Siege. You didn't miss that, right? Maybe the, maybe you did. <laughs> uh, forgotten Beast grabs the giant rat. Okay. That's all fine. And this is still... That is so weird. I'm sure someone's canceling. Or no. Oh, we ran out of um, statues. Wow, we already went through all our statues. But now you're going to be making more. Yeah, perfect. And I'll just. That'll just re trigger the make statue bit. I'm probably going to have to mine out more, more Kalanite at some point. Is that. Where is that? Let's even... Hmm. Well, we know we're gonna want some some floodgates here because apparently that works. How much would we have? It's cold here. Can I borrow some heat? I. You can have all the heat you want. I have heat to spare. Oh my god. How is it cool air? Ugh. Hey look, Bathru is making a clay statue. I encountered a fascinating conundrum recently. the autumn yeah but it's august august is all the heat stuff august is when it gets miserable here uh honestly um but colorado was the same way you just made a statue of kenya buff dye the inky sky a deity of rainbows and the sky depicted as a female human in porcelain cool our human just made a human statue a human god statue like 50? What? 50, 50 Fahrenheit, I assume? That's like... That's like nighttime <laughs> over here right now. I could just make another minecart. Right? I 
know if I've got my conversions right. I mean, I, I who knows? 50 is like cool, right? 50s is 50s is nice, nice evening to nighttime weather. It would be a bit cool for daytime. Okay, uh, lovers. Oop. 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 And then we're making more statues. Hooray! Wow, we are we are drinking our drink, aren't we? Hmm. Why isn't our brew jobs should be going? Because we don't have fermentable leaves and fruit currently. We don't have fermentable plants. We must have just used them all. We harvested a whole bunch of stuff from our surface because we have a whole mess of bayberry trees. But they must be out now? Yeah, like you're you're gathering plants. Like everyone is on the gather plants job. Plant together, everybody does this. Yeah. Okay, so we, we clearly need to be growing <laughs> crops on purpose again. Uh, let's do their workshop. Farm, farm plot. Like this. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll make one there, and then I'm going to disassemble these roads. Because this was just kind of keeping... This is our, our outdoor farm area. Uh, so we'll, we'll turn that back on. Because we can start growing whip vines again. And whip vines are good for, for, for boosts, so we'll do that. We'll even go into here. Uh, go into our kitchen. And say whip vines? Yeah, they're... Oh, and you can't, you can't even turn them into uh, food. You have, to, you have to mill them before you can turn them into food. Uh, so we'll make sure that our mill whip vines job is not, is not active. Because that was... This one? Yeah. And you're you're just inert. Okay. Uh, nighttime here. It was muggy today, like 20, but inside for like 15. Yeah, it's muggy here too. It's muggy and hot, and it's not good. Now they're they're just leaving all these goblin corpses to rot. Okay. If that's the if that's the alternative, then yes, you can have you can leave the goblin corpses in here. Fine. This has got to be close to full. Kitchen, 57%. Okay. Been garbage this summer. Rain all summer, but better than last summer where we boiled to death in our insulated and air, air, air conditioned houses. Yeah. We don't really have good. We don't have AC much here either. Some parts of the country, yes, but this part, no. So we just have like a little portable AC unit. With a the hose out the window. Did have a nice breeze, but then it died out. Yeah. Yeah, get rid of all those corpses, please. Um, so this is our whip vine stockpile. So I'm gonna say it's currently it's it's set to give to a millstone so we could make flour, but we have so much flour. So I'm gonna say that it also gives to Gives to here. Is that I'm not gonna screw it up? Because I also have like all the other ingredients will be stored in like in here. So of course, yeah. Well, so this this should give. This is gonna giving all of the links are gonna. I guess this is fine. Ah, uh, but like the, the the honey gets stored in the finished good stockpile. For for no reason. Um, so we'll say that this can also give to the stills.
No one's walking through there, right? Okay, good. Okay, well then let's let's come back up here. Uh, that got done. Then we'll do that. And then you, and we're still waiting on you. How are we on actual like planters? Only selected legendary planter, our bookkeeper. Oh, our that's right. You can be a planter. You're also legendary. Why are our Okay, fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, and I'm gonna say that our dimple die might be okay for the moment. Why is this counted as an outdoor? I don't think I can actually do outdoor stuff. Let's turn you over to Plump Helmets full-time. Everyone locks a Plump Helmet. And then this one I'm going to turn into... Uh, what was that? What's the underground booze one? The, the wheat. Oh, because it's not every... Yeah, okay. So cave wheat in the summer. And then spring. I mean... Oh, and sweet pods. How do sweet pods work? Sweet pods are weird. You're just going to do... You're going to do plump helmets. waiting. You're still waiting. Okay. I'll give them something to do with it. Something to brew. Okay. So now you are... you All in corpses. Okay. Don't, yeah, why don't they want to use this? Why don't they want to use this refuse pile when it's right here? You would think they'd use the closest one, right? Or, oh, oh, it's full. It's full of honeybee remains. It's full of invisible things. That's the problem. Uh, surf is garbage. Uh, and then... No, I want you... Where do the honeybees go? Are those corpses? Honeybees. So... Can our... Yeah, so the... It should accept those. Yeah, it's accepting them. Hmm. So people just need to be taking the things that are in the stockpile and put them in the minecart for people to be able to put other things in the stockpile. And I can make it a little bit bigger. Still. Get all the all the junk out here. That bucket's been been there forever. It's gonna stay. Um. Okay. How we did we destroy one of our minecarts?
Olin has been possessed. Oh, and we have the rare ceilings is in here training. Yeah. Tin machines, tin machines, inky tightnesses. Cool. They're all in there training. Not all, obviously, but they're they're working on it. Look how fast we're going through our drink. Okay, this, this might be a problem. This is still... Hmm. Okay. Oh, and of course we need to we need to do the corner one first. be able to do the thing. Yes. <laughs> Why is it it's just it's just sticking around forever? What if I told someone to dump it? Would someone try? Someone gonna burn themselves alive trying? Let's forbid it. Okay. Well, not yet. All in has begun a mysterious creation. Brew our pigtails. I mean, we have plenty of paper. On rope read. Let's do that. We have a whole bunch of crops sitting here for um for paper, but I think we're okay on paper for now. We can grow more paper. How many writing materials do we have? We have 200 writing materials sitting in here. Plus, plus more paper sitting there. Um, so we might need this to give. Done. Here we go. Brew drink. Brew drink. Okay. So then they'll probably just go brew all of our paper crops into booze, but that's fine. And you're... you're still working on honey. Okay. A perfect smoky quartz. Oh, neat! A large gem. I guess. Can I place that? That's under large gem. Yeah, yeah. We have one whole large gem. Sure. Thank you. Large gems are weird because you can't use them to like encrust things. They're just like objects on their own. So they're really just there to like be traded. They're kind of strange. Clothing's being made, forgotten beasts are fighting. Cool. And people are trading. Perfect. Need to mod it so large gems can be broken into smaller gems. That's fair. Kind of surprised you can't do more with them. <laughs> Might as well say start encrusting these statues again.
Now that I've rearranged our stuff here, and that got linked, I can probably just build on top of this. Go uh, to machine, floodgate, and this. I can do, I can put a shop over here at least, right? Um, let's, let's lap down a smelter, a magma smelter. That'll, it'll help save our fuel at least in the meantime. Uh, so let's remove that floor. And then this can link to that. I would love for this magma stuff to like, you know, work someday. <laughs> I'm tempted to make just another iron minecart. They're in Creston. On bathroom is 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 dying cloth. Okay. Everyone else is, yeah, look at all these make clothing jobs. Perfect. Perfect. Come on, people. Do we not still just have a bunch of people sitting around? Are people actually doing jobs now? Are, yeah, there's still some people in here. You're eating, you're socializing. should be you should be brewing why are you not brewing so that's fine and fruit right we don't have any fruit but that's that's understood so we need another forgotten beast hooray ersu zorguzlo an enormous feathered tick pair of spindly antennae, and it is slavering blue-gray feathers long and narrow, but where it's webs. Oh look, another web spitter. You in... you're in cave three. Is this... how'd you get up here? No, that's a different one. Yeah, this is cave three. This is the top of cave three. Fight! Fight! This could actually be a good fight. Uh, there's a web, a web spitter versus a theropod, large mandibles, deadly blood. Oh, get one. Cool. Neat. Hey, okay, cool. We're good. We're good. I just need to pay closer attention. <laughs> But when things finish. And now I'm gonna come over here and do workshop. Furnaces, magma smelter. Um, and yeah, that's fine. Technically we could already even build like on top of some of these, but that's... Oh, we melted the track stop. Hilarious. That's fine though, we'll just make another one. In theory, it's careening down as we speak. Yep, there we go, okay. Just need to make sure to not overfill it. If I do... I think we need I think we need another dump in there. And then are, are anyone using smelters? You're just hanging out in here. 
I don't think we have any smelting jobs active. I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble our non-magma smelters, just so no one uses them when they could use a magma smelter instead. Then in theory, did we are did we go through all of our lye? We still have some soap here. I was having a hard time with the lye recently. Make lye. Just make a couple. Uh, yeah, preparing lavish meal is happening. Cancels brewed drink from plant. Needs empty storage, empty food storage item in linked stockpile. Oh, is that what's happening? I need to link. See, once you start linking things. Done. Okay, try it now. Fine barrel, okay. Cool. I just do let's the plant. Let's just do like it's high priority people. We have some barley somewhere. Well speaking of things somewhere. Here we go. Um, so our outdoor farm. Can we just do whip vines all year? Because that would be great. Excellent. And this one is going to do pump helmets. Despite the fact that we don't have seeds. Uh, let's do some sweet pots too, I guess. Sweet pods. Sweet. We're out of plump helmet spawn because we were, we used it all. We put it all down. So there are we are growing some. So that's gonna be fine. Okay. That's fine. Now you're growing whip vines. Okay. We won't be grinding the whip vines this time. We have, you want to see my whip vine flower stockpile? Uh, powder. We have 3,000 whip vine flower. So we won't be uh, grinding that anymore. And this doesn't have its, yeah, so you're, you're fine. We'll just be brewing it. Okay. I think we're okay. And then this got made. Um, and then we have... Like, we have some steel because we've just been keeping steel at a certain level. I'm almost tempted to say just up the level of that. Yeah, 10, which has been fine up until now. Not... Not a steel bar is less than 10. Yeah, so I want the number to be like 50. So then in theory, that's going to trigger someone to start making steel on the magma smelter which is what we want I'm just leaving your robes okay Okay, 
Brewing is happening. River spirits. Is that because we're doing rope breed? Rope breed turns into river spirits. Yeah, rope breed. Okay. Must be what's going on. Yeah, look at our geez. <laughs> wow. This is our like prepared meals and booze stockpile. So the fact that it's almost empty is like disconcerting. We have food. We have so much food. Cause we're just because like our lavish meal. A thousand? Yeah, we're staying steady at a thousand lavish meals. It's the booze that's getting weird. Make steel bars. Perfect. Okay. Where were you just coming from? Weird. Uh, and our minecart should be somewhere. It's down. Is it on its way? Blaze track vehicle. Why was it? Is it? It had magma in it. Why? <laughs> Let's watch it again. Now we should be able to to open one of these, but I want to make sure that the, the mine cart gets moved properly. So someone's going to guide it to here and then push it down, push it down. Someone's going to push it down. Thank you. Oh, and the, was there not? Then it goes down, and it doesn't derail or anything, right? The other thing that I'm learning here is that a dwarf can just carry a minecart full of magma with no problem. For some reason, I was under the impression that that would be a problem. Maybe that's something that's changed since the forum post that I was reading. They were talking about like putting a minecart in a wheelbarrow for it to work, but they've been hauling it up the stairs full of magma without any problem as far as I can tell. Okay, and then it comes in, and then it fills, and then it gets pushed out, and then someone comes, and it turns invisible because that's <laughs> how that works. But now, yeah, it's full. Okay. And in theory, someone's gonna come and push it, but they better push it and not just freaking carry it. Um, but I'm going to be right back again. I'm going to go grab some more water because it's freaking hot. Ugh.
Uh, okay. Visible in charge, yeah. And so it's being pushed up. This is how it's supposed to work. Construction of certain goods, okay. Either breastplates or figurines. It's breastplates. And this can take two more without overflowing, so that's that's gonna be fine. Um, even still, let's go ahead and open this one. Hello. Doesn't. Does it need like a certain depth to melt? Hmm. Stretch. Hmm. She likes to sit on my keyboard and stare at my lap and be indecisive about where she's going. That's what she does. More shinies. Give me more shinies. <laughs> and all the masterworks that we're making, all the clothing that we just made. Okay, it did melt. Interesting. Just eventually. Now she's all settled down here. Okay. That's all good. We'll just, we'll let that go. And then our squads are training in theory. We got the rare ceilings. You are now talent observer, adequate dodger. No kills. But I want your skills. Combat. Mm -hmm. How did the Crusade and Goblins go? Not, uh, it hasn't gone yet. Uh, we're working on training up our people. Hopefully we'll get them some better gear. So I guess it, it might not actually happen this screen. Uh, but we're working on it. We're working on it. You're a Mark's Dwarf, but you're... Here's someone we're working on training to be... Which squad are you in? You're in the rare ceiling. So you're gonna be, uh, either... Yeah, you're a spear dwarf. Okay. We've done a bunch of, uh, engraving of our statue alcoves, so we can place some more of those. Like, did we did we get more in there? Hard to say. Uh, in there. Flicking her ear against my arm. It's all good. This is all 
good. There wasn't any space in here. Here's some. Engravers must be getting better. I think they're engraving faster. Look at all that! Look at all these statues! And that's everything. Okay. Wow, we're gonna fill up all of our spots very quickly. Precious fire opal. Huh. Oh, we have a slab to make, don't we? Or to place. Yeah, let's do goss. Any others? No. Event a ghost. And we're clean up here now. Well, that's good. We're growing all of our all of our whip vines. Very good. And we're our drinks are going back up. Perfect. That's what I like to see. That's what I like. card is somewhere it's it's gone it's it's plummeting and these ones that aren't linked to anything can just get unmade oh they were a ghost hmm I don't think we knew about the ghost but apparently there was a ghost neat how are you doing? You are a professional engraver. Very nice. We have two. We have three going. Two professionals and a talented. Cool. Cool. Working on it. Going for a perfect fortress here. Okay. What else are we working on? We have, we've upped our cap, so we're expecting some migrants at some point. We've filled out our squads. We're waiting to make them more equipment because we want to get our magma forges going. We're moving magma, and our magma moving is working. Keep your fingers crossed. It's been quite finicky, but it, I mean, it's, it's going, just going slowly. side of doing this back corner here is once this pit is done then we can just place four things on top of it i could just i could place something here now even like i can't place on top of here because of the it'll block the track these those back ones will be fine let's just start with the back one whatever uh we can refill our waterfalls how about that that's a thing we can do The waterfalls being the trick to keeping everyone happy for so constantly, so consistently, so long. Yes, I want more. Is that so bad? Uneasy dwelling upon Tron. <laughs> but you're one of our, our good ones, right? Yeah, legendary fighter. Look at this. We're saving. We are definitely running at a lower FPS than we have in our previous streams. Uh, we we were able to keep keep it locked at 50 FPS for so long of this fortress, but now that I've upped our population cap, we've been going down a little bit. Uh, you know, as you do. But we're still hitting, you know, high 30s, 40s. Which is twice what we were getting in our previous fortress. 
that's for sure. We were in the teens for a long while there. Skilled Observer, Dabbling Spear Dwarf. Yeah, so they're, they're getting there. They'll figure it out. Are still, yeah, this is still being weird. Look at this. If someone could explain this glitch to me, I would love it. <laughs> we are... We have an archery range up here. I have an archery target. I'm shooting down. And the, the bolts go through the floor to the floor beneath. And then people have to come down here and grab them and move them back up. Into the stockpile. So bizarre. Uh, did our lie thing work? We make soap. Why not? Just want to have some soap. Our tree is still majorly bugged. That's fair. It did take them a while to, you know, actually carry their uh, carry their ammo around. They eventually did figure it out. I'm gonna pull this one. Like I'm, I'm kind of bugging on purpose, right? Because there, there's been a bug for a long time. At least I've known about it for a long time. That if the, uh, if the, if the ammo falls a level before coming to rest somewhere, then it doesn't get consumed. But in every other time that I've exploited it, it just it hits the ground like it'll hit that floor and just accumulate there like i i would expect the bolts to stay here and it doesn't have anything to do with these walls or this ramp because it was doing the same thing even when this was just a stockpile it was falling through from here onto a stockpile and teleporting through the floor into a workshop yeah like i've never seen i've never seen it do that before Yeah, so that so that's cool. <laughs> I'm curious if anyone else has seen that. Uh, did we have a yeah? Our, our person wants a breastplate. Might as well. Or we can't because I removed our our forge. Well. You know, I think we're good on statues for the moment. I'm being honest. We've, we've filled almost all of our nooks already. If not all of them. So I'll put the, I'll replace this with a forge. And this really just needs, this is gonna need two more trips. Cause each one needs to be at level four. Magma Forge. And then we can at least start making some things, right? Just at low volumes, we'll we'll flesh out our, our throughput. But this will at least give us the ability to do things. Animal Crossing music sure is. There's a bunch in here. It's so good. Animal all all Nintendo music is amazing, but Animal Crossing has some really good stuff in it. Now, in theory, we already have a job to make some some breastplates down here. Yeah, still breastplate. That must be from the previous demand, because we currently have a demand for, for one, so I guess that one just didn't get made. <laughs> Oops. It's already deconstructed our, our forges, yeah. 
As you do. In theory, our manager will be able to figure out that that should go there. Maybe I'll just, I'll just re enter it. No, not a bracelet. Do not make me a steel bracelet. Oh, I miss Cap'n's music from the GameCube version. <laughs> I didn't play the GameCube version. That's the OG, right? I played the DS one a whole bunch. And then I played the Switch one a bit. Love both the first two, yeah. They're all good. This should take a job, right? This is just ready to activate. Okay. Scared to go back to my Switch village to get abused for not logging in for months. I want. I kind of want to dig up my DS. It's been at least a decade. <laughs> This should take work orders, yes. Switch one was so good, but they sort of nerfed the grumpy animals so much they didn't have much personality. Yeah, I've he I've heard that, but I uh, heard that complaint before. They used like in, I've seen screenshots of the GameCube version. They used to be, they used to have mouths on them. I'm I'm surprised Nintendo was doing that even at that point. Like you know, modern Nintendo's very rounded corners, but like even then. They were fun to mess with, yeah. And they'd mess with you back. There it goes. Okay, cool. So that works. And that... That's going. Okay. Cool. So we have... We have something going. This is another, this is also Animal Crossing. All, a whole bunch of the KK songs are in here as, as, as lo-fi things. Equipment mismatch. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to make some more stuff. We're out of, oh yeah. So they, they stopped engraving the, or uh, encrusting the statues. Make soap from tallow needs light containing items. See, why did that not get done? Hmm. And then this is on its way back. See why? Are you seriously carrying it again? What happens to make that happen? bathroom is carrying it. Why? And then you can guide it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, we need one more. We watched it get pushed up. Why would it be different a second later, I've changed nothing. I've changed nothing! Yeah, one more and it'll be fine. Uh, we can disassemble this. I'm happy with my little floodgate trick. I'm gonna have to remember that. That worked at least. And then this still filled with honeybee remains. Mm 
Why? Let's say that this does not accept honeybees. And then did it reset? And every single time it really wants to have bins. For whatever reason. It's gonna. Okay, so it's already down here. Now, is someone going to push it or haul it? It is. It is correctly where it should be. We haven't seen any goblins this season. We did just we did just turn into spring. Haven't seen goblins. We haven't seen any migrants yet. We have room for another eleven. Kind of expecting those things to happen. I turned on I turned on the multi-threading and I'm not sure I've noticed a real difference. This is the same frames frame rate that we were at before. Kind of interesting. And sweet pods. I have to remember what to do with sweet pods. Some migrants have arrived. I just had to complain about it. Here you are. Libesh, floor oil, talented fish dissector. Okay. Sweet pods get milled into sugar, that's right. And they get turned into booze. Death, I feel very uneasy. Where have you seen death? There's none there's none death here. Maybe turn into rum, yeah, okay. You have to You have to mill them to to brew them. Uh yes. Where are you seeing death? There is I mean there's I guess there's Hearts. There's an arm up there. <laughs> Farmer. Yep. Okay. Off to bed. Great stream. Always cheers me up. Cool. Thanks. Um. Yeah. Of course. Uh. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good. Have a good night. Uh. Good luck with your slightly too chilly for preference weather. I'll try not to be too jealous. We're gonna get right up to 120 here, aren't we? Seeing them little doors do their thing, yeah. They're getting good. They're they're becoming quite efficient, I would say. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. This is my this is my best fortress. Ground in millstone into dwarven sugar or processed into barrels of dwarven syrup. Oh yeah, okay. Can also be brewed into rum. We have a potato. We have a potato. <laughs> um, and we don't even have sweet pods in here yet, so okay. I am jelly of the cool weather. Absolutely. I'm I'm looking forward to September, October. That's when that's when my preferred season starts, I think. Holding at 700 booze. 
I'd like the number to go up a bit more. We are brewing. We are I told them to brew on repeat and they're brewing on repeat, so that's good. And we're making mead. Oh, and our our thing. What's going on here? It's still going down. Or no, it's being transported up. That's what it means. Tools. See, now it's working fine. You got up here using the tracks. It's only when I'm not watching. They take it up the stairs when I'm not paying attention. Oops. Oh, sorry for that sound. My coaster stuck to the bottom of my bottle. Why did it go here? Is that what's going wrong? Because now you don't have it. What? Did you... You're not like... I mean, you're going off to drink, but it's not like you're dying. Okay, now what happens? Now you're gonna take it and you're just gonna haul it over there. Or no. What? And someone's gonna have to come and grab it from the stockpile. Yep. And then you bring it up. This poor dwarf has to haul the minecart up the stairs. Only because... Then it goes blop. And then you and then you do what you're supposed to do. That all works fine. And then you push it. And then now we're fine here. Okay, so I am gonna I'm gonna get rid of that. Is it like is my order? Top of ramp, to magma station. And then from Magma Spation, it should go to the go to here now. Well, wow. at any rate, we have filled a second pool. That's the main thing. Um, this is just going to turn into... We're going to do four smelters here. That's going to be how that works. That's definitely the labor-intensive part of the steel-making process. Magma smelter. One, two, three, four. And then maybe we do the back one next. Not the smart thing. I could have. Whatever. So then we're gonna go up here. We're gonna do that. We're gonna build a track stop there. It's going to dump that way. And all three of these are linked, right? Perfect. Cool. 
I like that these all got made out of mica. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. And then I might even disassemble this one and turn it into a second forge. We'll have four, four smelters and two forges for the moment. Oh, it did... How many is that? Is this six, seven in one stream? Isa Lithime Lafo. Towering hairy slug, thin wing, stretched skin, squirms, fidgets, lemon hair, very curly, deadly blood. Okay. Where are you? This is cave two. Is there anyone in here right now? Oh, where'd you go? You flying? You flying? Isa, the night of soaking. It's a flying slug. Hooray. There's a bunch of pond grabbers in there. The pond grabber corpses. Okay. Have fun. Uh, yeah, okay, so I want to do workshop, magma forge, um, and if we're doing everything all pretty like, then I'll just keep making it out of mica. This is mica blocks, even. I'm not sure it looks any different as a workshop, but, you know. Uh, okay, so then our hauling thing... It is... Someone bringing it back up already? Can I just do... I can't do that. You are bringing it up. Okay. Well, that's gonna be weird. Uh, let's come back up here. I do need to add... Add a stop. Here. This is... It's two. Oh, it's the third one we're filling, whatever. Uh, its depart condition is going to be guide south always. And then what? They're gonna you're gonna push it all the way to the top and you're just gonna immediately push it back down. Whatever. Whatever. Um also keeping an eye on our mood. We have a lot more dwarves here than we did previously. these statues look at all of these encrusted porcelain statues oh that's happy that didn't take long at all need more places to put them So we have two two magma forges, four magma smelters. That means I can probably start just giving them some steel jobs, depending on what we need. So if we look at these two squads, um, you have steel, 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 and a silver warhammer. Wow, cool. Steel, steel. Deal. And then trousers. Is trousers what I want? I think so. Steel shield. Wow. Steel, 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 silver. Steel, 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 silver. Holy cow. We have more stuff than I thought we did. That's a nice surprise. We 
But who doesn't who doesn't have steel? Bronze wow. warhammers. So we should make some more silver warhammers, maybe? Wow. You even you have a named battle axe. You got recruited on day one getting to this fortress and you picked up a named battle axe. Fancy you. Okay, so we clearly need some more steel helms and steel shields. We can start with that. Let's say 10 of each. Steel helm. Steel shield. And on two forges, that'll take a second. Crundles are dying. Can you hear them? The crundles are screaming. Cancels pick up equipment. Horrified. That's all... That's all fine, I guess. We're still spinning thread. Look at this. We have so much wool. I stopped harvesting wool because we have so much wool. We're making drink. Should I make another? Do I need a third still? Tanner shop, fishery. I definitely sized everything in this fortress out for our 50 dwarves. So it'll be interesting to see how things scale. Or if things scale. We have things to make now. Yeah, we're back up to 800. Okay. That's all this sand. Been importing a little bit of sand. And then where's our, our block stockpile? Here. Should have like a bunch of coke in here too. Yeah. Cool. And we have a bunch of uncut gems again. Oh, nice. Okay, so we should cut our gems. What? And since I'm staring at it and thinking about it, I'm going to check on our soap situation. I haven't made soap in a very long time. When you haven't needed too much. Yeah, we still have a nice stack of giant stoat soap. Um, and we should have a stack of tallow saved in our kitchen. Giant wolf tallow. Only 17. We should have, like, a gigantic thing of, yeah, 2,000 llama tallow. <laughs> oh, boy. Is there, yeah, guinea fowl tallow? Let's save that. And the stoat tallow. So I don't think, so making the lie didn't work. Why did our, our lie job didn't work? And a bar of ash and an empty bucket. We have ash. And this is, are you properly linked? No, they just, they just don't have links. Not mechanic, soap maker. Yeah, okay. Bar of ash and an empty bucket. Are we out of buckets? Okay. Let's try, let's do make lie. 
and someone's gonna come and cancel it, right? Oh, well, you can do it. Someone's someone's having a time down there. Oh boy. Now it's empty. This is still less headache than a pump stack. My god. Okay. So now this bucket has lie. So now you can make soap using the lie, right? I have. I don't have a ton of ash sitting around. I have some though. Okay, now what's going on with our... So now you are pushing it, but it's empty. How did it empty? Is there just magma on the ground down here? No. Where did it go? Is there just magma on the floor somewhere? I'm gonna find it like cat puke in the night. Making steel, making steel, making steel. Wow. Did the did our other things happen? No. They did not. Interesting. Ready to activate. Any time now. <laughs> Forgotten beast is caught in the web. Weird, but okay. At least we're not racing against the evaporation clock now. A little more tolerant of their shenanigans. stockpile there. All this food and none of its drink. All meat. We have so much food and it's just all yak brain. Sasquatch hair thread our in our dyer shops. I went through and, and dumped it all down to our library, but clearly there's, clearly there's more. Another one. What's one more? A great six-legged tortoise with lidless eyes. Oh, that's cool. It is slavering. Dark chestnut scales are blocky and close set, but where it's noxious secretions. It's in cave one. Oh, it's gonna go fight something that's 
That's Google. I'm gonna fight something that's killed two others. This stream. This one is not snow or steam, so. Might put up a little bit more of a fight. What is it? It is a it's a feathered snail. Excellent. Fight. Oh! Challenger one! Challenger one! Ubel mirror moistness. Exhilarated after being attacked. Oh dear. Oh dear. Also, all these freaking vermin everywhere. Do we have some. Are we just. Is that a standing order? Automatic web collection, slaughter marked animal, automatically burned for cartridges, automatic kitchen, automatic. Yeah, okay. Gather refuse, gather outdoor refuse, gather outdoor vermin re remains, yes. And we save. We're saving all the things. Dump. Hmm. Other death items. Good cages from sprung traps during sieges, yeah. Say everything's forbidden during sieges. Would harvest mixed food barrels. Yeah? Okay. Whatever. All these the honeybees. Why the honeybee remains? Uh let's do it this way. Let's go down to our so I have a dump set up down here because we were moving our dyed animal thread to our our book binding station uh, but I'm gonna remove I'm gonna move our dump to be down here by our actual incinerator dump. And that'll work and then come up here. And I'm just gonna dump and dump the honeybee remains. Let's just do let's do it this way. Is this literally just full of honeybee remains? So stupid. Okay, here they come. The fact that a crate filled with a million blocks of stone and a dead honeybee take up the same footprint in a stockpile is amazing. Amazing. Shouldn't be able to put more in here, right? Do I need to make a stockpile specifically for honeybee remains? Like, why, am, why are we even collecting them? Why can't they just be, like, dead on the ground, like normal freaking honeybees? You don't need to be that clean. Like, I want to be clean, but not, like, that clean. Um, how's our squad doing? How's it, how's training? They're all just wandering around in there. Okay. They're going up to patrol, probably. Let's 
so now it's now it's going back down to the magma station. That's fine. I'll make sure that it gets taken care of this time. My god. There it goes. And it comes back out. And now it's here. Now it's full. Now someone's coming for it. And if you take it to a stairwell, I'm throwing you in the magma next. Other question I have. So we, we raised our pop cap to 120 uh, because we had some empty bedrooms with the ones that we had constructed previously. And uh, yes, okay. So from here you can tell which bedrooms you have that haven't been claimed. So we still have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Wow. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Wow. We still have. It's way more than I would think. That's like the same amount we had last time. Are people not claiming their bedrooms? Why would that be the case? Once I have confirmed that this is working properly, I'm going to go check the bedrooms. I wonder if our military dwarves don't end up with bedrooms if I assign them to a barracks before they get a chance to sleep. Can our, can our squad members just have just their barracks? Okay. Okay. And then from here, that looks fine. That looks like we did okay. That looks like we are in business again. My goodness. How is... And then how are we doing here? We're... We're good. Oh, we made our things. Wow. It's quick. So now... We just made a whole bunch of shields, so in theory they will be making they'll be getting our shields. We should make some I'm gonna say someone had a, a gauntlet that they needed. Or greaves. We should do greaves. And then the weapons. Steel greaves. Steel Battle Stell Steel Battle Axe Steel Spear And yeah, I think I think that's good. And then are we actually at fifty steel? Did they get us there already? No, not quite. But I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm just all taking a break, I guess. Or unless we're out of something. Let's check on that. Out of flux. Okay, yes. Let's mine some flux. That's a thing we can do. Flux quarry. Is down. Is all diorite. was this was marble um, this as well I guess we can I'm assuming there's none inside there come on here mine mine and screw it this will give us stone for jugs as well that will be microcline. That's fine. 
And we have... So what are we doing? We got people on, on mining. I'm gonna unlock you. Competent miner and... Have you even tried? <laughs> uh, we're not hunting. We are planting. We have... Wow. Five legendary planters. We're not fishing. Everyone is plant gathering. Everyone is stone cutting. But we have... Wow, look at that. Five legendary stone cutters. We have three people engraving. One person is dedicated to it. That makes sense. Uh, and then everybody hauls. Everyone's an orderly. We have four metalsmiths. Competent weaponsmith. Adequate armorsmith. Legendary armorsmith. Look at that. Look at that. I do wish we had someone better at weaponsmithing, though, but that's how that goes. Um, and then our mechanics, everyone's doing that for now. And then we have our jewelers, but everyone's doing the jeweling. Okay. Legendary gem cutter. Wow. We have some very nice skills going on in our fortress right now. Brewing our whip vines again. Yeah, look at all this. We got, yeah, nice big whip vine uh, harvest. So now we can just brew the whip vines. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, in that case, I'm even going to come into our kitchen say let's save the rope reeds again because well we went through a good chunk of them but uh we'll save those for for paper when that becomes a thing again because now we have another 300 whip vines and we can just brew those and that's higher value anyway okay i think we're okay i think we're okay our drink is higher than it was to start with we're at like 800 eight or 700 to start with What has happened? Is it... Is it in the stockpile again? No. It's... Is it going down? Where... Okay. What the frick? No, it's sitting here. It's here. And it's spilled? But it still has magma in it. There's magma on the track. Well, at least you brought a minecart. No one el or a wheelbarrow. No one else has brought wheelbarrows. Do I need wheelbarrows in the furniture stockpile? Is that... No? You, you have wheelbarrows assigned to you. Elite wrestler is sparring.
<laughs> All of our dimple cups. Holy cow. Holy cow. I never thought I would be in this position with the clothing. Just dying everything. We went through a bunch of our Kalanite. Wow. We haven't mined any of it on purpose. That's literally just what we got incidentally from uh, mining out our fortress, but there's plenty more around. Okay, so now it's going down. Hey. Well, I think this is a decent place to wrap up for the day. I know it wasn't a super eventful stream. Uh, we're we're kind of building up for taking on some goblins. Um, but yeah, we're we're training up dwarves so they can go attack some goblins. We're we're moving our magma so we can efficiently make steel stuff for for those dwarves. And that is at least working. It's at least working. <laughs> Um, we got a bunch of statues made. We are brewing drink again, because apparently that was being weird. And we had like 10 forgotten beasts show up, some of which survived. I think that is... I think that's a stream. I'm gonna go make myself some food and stand in front of the air conditioner for a while. Okay. Well then. Hooray, or Fortress. <laughs> Hooray Mondays. The day was a Monday. Um... As usual, this episode was brought to you with no sponsors and the minimal amount of ads that I can get away with thanks to flowers! And you pushing buttons, following, subscribing, joining the Discord, doing all the things. Get in the Discord, please. <laughs> please and thank you. Um, but yeah, uh, and, and we're just going to keep on going. Um, more Dwarf Fortress on Thursday, more Aliens Dark Descent on Saturday. Um, that might be the last stream. We're on a awfully climactic mission, I think. Um, it's either gonna be like, this is the, the final mission, or there's gonna be like... an actual climax kind of a situation, uh, to, to follow it up with. But I think we're in... We're in the sequence. We're in the climactic sequence, I think. Uh, so come by if you want to see how that wraps up. Uh, come by in a couple weeks when this turns into a full-time Armored Core channel. <laughs> Um, that'll be great fun, and uh, and yeah, have a good have a good rest of your week. Um, try to stay cool out there. I know there's a, there's heat all across the country right now, um, so so stay cool, stay hydrated, drink a lot of water. Even if you're inside, even if you're not doing anything, drink a lot of water. It's important, uh, as it turns out. Uh, so yeah, uh, have a good week, and stay kind.